What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another edition of the Pit Party. This time it's a special edition as you can tell by the screen in front of you. We got the RCMT Freestyle Championship Series about to kick off. And uh, tonight is probably one of the most exciting nights of the whole deal. Um, we get to set the brackets to find out who is going to face off against who in the regular season. We got the Black Market RC Group, Vitavon RC Racing, and the NSDRC Group. Uh, we're going to have at least 11 drivers in each group this year. Uh, one of them is going to get 12 as we got 34 drivers, which is awesome. But uh, before we separate everybody into some groups, let's get our co-host Ryan in here. And we'll get to some fun here. This is always a good time. It, it, it kind of breaks up everybody into into smaller groups and kind of builds some some uh, anticipation throughout the year. How's it going, Ryan? Hey, how's it going? Man. Good, good. It's been been too long on here, man. We we haven't done a pit party in a while for yeah. Uh, yeah. Various reasons, but every, every, yeah, absolutely. Everything actually worked this time with no issues. I know I just totally jinxed the whole rest of the show by saying that, but <laughs> rusty or not, it's going smooth. So I'm excited to see how these brackets break out. Last year, I don't know if we could have picked them any better than that, man. So I'm excited to see what happens this year. Yeah, no, it's we, we're gonna have the old uh, random spinny wheel of of choice and. And everyone's gonna get put into each bracket. Um, it's it's uh, I did it a few times just for fun, just a mock up. And every time, it's like there's drama, there's storylines, there's everything that gets mixed in. So I hope it's it's half as good as some of the ones I've done just playing around. But that's great. Yeah, and as the scores line up too throughout the season, it's definitely cool to see how it kind of not separates out. It almost like packs up. Right, you start to see yeah. groups of guys really like going at it, where their scores are so close to each other. It's just a matter of next month, and it could totally shift the whole bracket around. Yeah, and so anybody who's watching that, how's it going, Oz Monster? Nice to see you, um, all the way from Australia. Um, it's it's cool because if anybody that doesn't know, we got thirty four drivers that are going to compete all year long, but they only compete against their own division. Um, so we got we got the three different brackets only these group of drivers compete against each other and the top three in each one of those brackets uh is going to advance on to the world finals at the end of it all and then uh one last chance qualifier which we can explain that once we get a little bit further in uh for anybody who doesn't know a lot of the competitors know the information's been circling around to any all of them so brass ring says yeah. this draft night it sure is yeah exciting night. Right. And I mean, guys, as we as we go on throughout the season, I mean, leading up to it, any any moment you have a question, even if it's can you look at this trick, anything, just reach out to us. Uh, we're all kind of in this together, right? Trying to make it the best we can. So if you have any any questions, any suggestions, feel free to reach out. But I don't want to take away from from draft night too much here <laughs> with uh, with the beginner talk but no it, everybody's probably excited it, it, that's a that's a good that's a good point because we we do have i forget the number but it was like almost 50 percent new guys this year um and isaac down in the comments what am i getting myself into he's one of them but i don't <laughs> think he's he's not a rookie by any means he's been winning trigger king freestyle so it's nice yep. to see him on board um yeah, yeah like you said if anybody has any questions don't hesitate to ask, send us videos, send us pictures, whatever it is that you have questions about. We're not here to kick you out and disqualify you. We want you to succeed and get better. So Yeah, we, we um, don't wanna we don't wanna blame Monster Jam tech judges, but we're not we're not right, to yeah. Do, we're not trying to be like that. We like to talk about things and figure it out before we shut anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> uh quick we like I said we got thirty four drivers. I'll just do a quick rundown of the names we got. Yep. Um and then we'll get into them in more detail as we pull the names out of the hat here. So we got uh, 229 Motorsports. Uh, that's Andy, formerly known. Yep. Um, Adrenaline Rush RC, Oz Monster RC, Autism RC Dad, uh, Bobby D65, Brass Ring Fab, Chunlay RC Garage, Colorado Mini Jam, Douglas Hensel, Isaac One. Uh, JTO MTRC, we got JRWRC Motorsports, 
Line Drive RC, Lurch RC, our champion from last year. Uh, Midnight Monsters RC, our only girl comp competitor. Uh, Monster Jam RC, Monster Truck Daily, Monster Wars RC, MTRC Racing, that should be. I'm going to change that right now. You didn't miss anything, Colorado Mini Jam. You're good. No, no. You're just going down the names. We're good. We haven't pulled any names out yet. Yep. How do I get in? One way Kenny says. Um, deadline was today. Yep. Um, but shoot shoot me a DM and I'll get you the information. And if we have an open spot, we'll uh, we'll put you on. I missed my chance. Um, Notorious of Colorado. I should have told him that he won the prize, but since he wasn't there, he lost <laughs> out. Yeah, yeah, you had to be present to win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, at least at least you're watching the comments. I'm not. Notorious <laughs> JRC. Uh, NYCLMT, uh, myself, Outlaws of Motorsports, Platano RC, happy birthday, brother, RC Enthusiast, uh, Rob's RC World, good to have him on, uh, yourself, Ryan B, uh, Salty RC, Street Hooker Trash, Size Matters RC, Thunderdome RC, Vehicle City Monsters, Mario, I seen you in the chat, uh, ZWS Hobbies, and then uh, uh, Dubs, Carson, my son, and uh, MTRC's son as well. So, all right, that that's, that runs that down counts. the thirty-four. If uh, if you're here and I didn't call your name, raise your hand quickly. <laughs> but Man, uh, what yeah, a list. that's uh, what a list. Ooh. Yeah, no, it's uh, there, there's nobody that I don't think can can compete this year. Yeah, but, Lurch, uh, you better be ready. I saw Lurch out there with the backhoe, and he's been taunting me with videos of what he's been doing there <laughs> at his course. So. He's not taking it lightly. He, I think he's ready for it. <laughs> he broke, so he broke anybody, out the heavy equipment. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to spin the wheel. It's going to draw a name and then delete it from the wheel. Um, we're going to start left to right. First name is going to go on Black Market. Next name is going to go on Vitavon. And then NS DRC. And then back to Black Market. And we're full. So that's how she's going to go. Um, I know at the small screen you probably can't see. But I'll zoom in here once we're all done and get a get a good look of it, and we'll post pictures and all that stuff of the brackets once we get her done. Yep. And for the, so the, guys, the, the, the brackets you go into kind of leads to what what prizes you can get for your specific bracket, and then there's grand prizes. But we'll send out a little bit more. Yeah. So that. there's there's but, main sponsor prizes, um, A main J concepts, uh, Pro Tech, CCXRC. They're kind of uh, in each bracket, um, down one, two, three, and then like Black Market RC will have a specific uh, grand prize for his bracket, along with Vitavon and NSDRC. So those sponsors kind of get a little bit more attention with their bracket sponsorships, um, and then our main guys sponsor a little bit of everything. So uh, appreciate having you all on. Full Boogie Tilt is there as well with the uh, Big Air Award this year. No, Avengers Racing with the Big Air Award, yep. Full Boogie Tilt with the Last Chance Qualifier, sorry. Yep. Anyways, enough yeah. talk. Let's pull a name out of the hat and get her started. I was just trying to build up the drama a little bit. Yeah, no, that's cool. right. Okay. I don't have a drum roll queued up, so I needed something. Yeah, just bang <laughs> on the bench like I always do. <laughs> Let's see who's the first one. Maybe you can read it. I'm not sure. Chunley RC. Chunley. Nice. Chunley. So let's. Uh, go over here. I can't wait to see some of these tracks too this season. We had some great ones last year, and with all these newcomers, it would be cool to see. Chun, Chun Lee being one of them, he's got some big ramps down there. Yeah, he's been he's got he's spearheaded a whole series down there with those Florida boys. Yeah, that's pretty cool yeah. to see. There we go. Cold. We at MTC got us with the uh, drum roll. Ah, perfect. <laughs> First up in the Vitavon bracket will be Size Matters RC. Nice. So pulling nope. a couple new guys out of the yeah. out of the hat first off. Another newcomers. I think he just had his show on a little bit ago, so he might be getting a snack. But <laughs> oh, that's the wrong name. Right. It's as small for me as it but... is for you guys. <laughs> I'm holding back on a lot of jokes right now with that one, Chad. <laughs> let them fly, bro. Let them fly. <laughs> is a chill, isn't this a children's show or something? No, shit. it's ten o'clock at night Man, on the children. east coast. Anyways, 
NSDRC bracket. First up is Salty RC. Salty. Yeah. Had a great run last year in the uh, NSDRC bracket, too, maybe, I think. That might have been the same bracket last year he was in. Not a bad one, that's for sure. Should have... Should have brushed up on it. Yeah, I don't remember. I think he, he was did in he? The middle yeah. bracket last year. Yeah, I think that was NSD. Could have been. Yeah. Well, more prizes. I think he's got more trucks this year. He might need some servos. Yeah, he's got them. He he was single handedly the reason we got Vidavon as a sponsor too. I got to thank him for that. Absolutely. He, Big shout out for Salty on that one. I don't think either one of us thought it would happen, and then it did. No, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, MTRC the says they're going to have the right, smallest right. track. Yep. That's right. Chad will tell you size right. doesn't matter. Notorious. Yeah, no, especially when you're on the moon, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Notorious is uh, second up in the black market group with Chun Li. Good to see. Nice. Yeah, Vehicle City. It was the NSD bracket. Salty won it, laid it down. Single band stack, brass ring. Yeah, yeah, no, we, and that that's cool too that you mentioned that because we're we're focusing a little bit more on uh, realism this year with some of the tricks and stuff like that. So hey, there's myself. Absolutely. There you are. <laughs> Absolutely, that's what I'm kind of excited with the tracks to see which direction they go in. Right, like I think all of us last year we were kind of excited and throwing our tracks together and it evolved throughout the season where some of the these newcomers, man, they got like not to shout you out there, MTC, but you got a course. You know? yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. So I'm excited to see what you guys can do out there. Oz the board, Monster. Really. Nice. Big shout out to him for the trophy last year. Yeah. That thing's a, and a work and built that, uh, that trophy that everybody wants a piece of, and maybe we can talk him into building another one. Yeah. And that that's a, brings up a good point, too. He He's from Australia, built that trophy and shipped it up here on his own dime and uh besides australia um a couple guys like with myself in canada i think we reach all four corners of the united states and beyond pretty impressive um so it's yeah it's extremely impressive so well mtc said there's a new colony a martian colony forming that's even oh boy <laughs> man that's he might exciting. have he might have hopped on a elon musk rocket to mars i think <laughs> oh man, he might not make it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just missed you, Vehicle City. We got uh, ZWS instead. Oh, there he, he is. ZW is going into the black market. He's good buddies yeah. with Jake there at uh, at Black Market. So Zach and the Trailer Trash were bat battling it out in that bracket last year together. I yeah, that one. I think Zach ended up winning it. I think Trailer Trash couldn't make the final round for some reason, yeah. and uh, Zach ended up winning his. Uh, his bracket, the uh, Toronto Leisure RC bracket, which yep. we'll talk about, James, in a second. But. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see. So starting to fill in and see what rivalries start to form. Yeah. Some, nat Maybe some natural, some not. Yeah. Uh, some pre uh, monster, monster Wars RC. Nice. He's probably got the biggest, most authentic looking fleet out of everybody. Yeah, man, he can run a different truck every month and yeah. still have it still go on for another couple, I think. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Lurch and I have been talking about him uh, making it up here to my course one of these days. I think I might have to try to persuade him to bring that trophy up here. <clears throat> I, yeah, put it on the line. <laughs> I I didn't want to blow blow that out there right now and say I was that was my plan, but <laughs> you can either lay down pink slips or trophies. <laughs> Midnight monsters. Nice. She, uh, I believe, she is with um, Monster Wars. Monster is it not? Wars. Yeah, I believe so. So they didn't. You can get to fall into the same bracket as each other, but sometimes that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a good thing. Swapping parts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Those independent teams, man, they need to separate a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> yeah, start. Lurch wants so, to battle you for bragging rights, he said. That's good enough for me. And Capri Sun. We usually have Capri <laughs> Sun 
cupcakes or pizza. <laughs> Thunderdome Arrow. RC nice. coming out of the Pacific Northwest up there. They uh, they just started a race series and a and an RC uh, course park which looks pretty nice. So yeah, yeah, I saw they had their. I don't know if it was their first event or it might have been maybe a few weeks back. Looked like a good time for sure. It is cool over the past year since we started this, the amount of like pop up events that seem to be happening, you know. Yeah. And we, we started this events because there was no other events around, it was just a handful, and now everyone's banding together and creating their own, which is great. That's what we want to see. That's what yeah. it's yeah, I mean at about. the beginning of this, I what how many times I said because I had no competitions to go to and everything, nothing was local. And now we're having pizza parties in the backyard. <laughs> Vehicle City, you, yeah. my friend, are going in the Vitavon racing bracket with Size Matters, myself, and Monster Wars so far. Nice. I think he could use a, an axle or two out there. What do you think, Mario? <laughs> <laughs> Some hubs, something. So 34 we have this year, you said, right? 34, yeah. Well, I'll give her another shuffle here after we pull this name just to change it up. But Spice it up. Um, we, we are falling down to MTRC. You are going over into the NSDRC bracket with Salty, Oz Monster, and Midnight Monsters. Yeah, it's already done. It's already started to divide it up pretty good, right? There's a yeah, there's it doesn't a, feel like it's a good stacking, mix, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Whoever makes this little spinny wheel, they do a great job of making it. Uh, oh, exciting. it saves it saves so much time, yeah. Otherwise, we're pulling them out of a sketchy hat. <laughs> Wheelofnames.com are not a sponsor, but I'm going to shout them out. <laughs> we should hit them up. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Monster Jam RC. Nice. Yeah, Welcome well, to the contest. He said he could use one of those servos. I think all of us could use a yeah. solid, strong servo. Probably the biggest thing I've smoked is servos up until I, I got myself one of these, you know. <laughs> so. I know Monster Jam RC has been putting on some mock events in his yard. He's got a handful mm -hmm. of trucks. So yeah, I'm yeah. sure he's gonna yeah, he's be up right up there with the scale, scale look of what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Now one of the Florida boys, Adrenaline Rush RC, nice. Cody. It's Cody. In the Vitavon bracket with Mario and myself, and. <clears throat> Yep, <laughs> going through the comments. Yeah. Uh, here's the body count starting with AUS Monster on servos. <laughs> <laughs> I saw. I lost the. I lost the comment from MTC, but I saw smoke and mirrors, so I'm not yeah. sure what witchcraft. What witchcraft <laughs> they're up to out on that Martian <laughs> colony already? <laughs> Little green guys driving monster trucks. Yeah, and he's got the lack of gravity out there. I'm not sure what gravity's like on Mars, but. We might have to put a rule in for that. Speaking, yeah, that's right. Speaking of putting rules in, the man... <laughs> Lurch, yeah. <laughs> the man who rewrites them himself, Lurch RC. In the NSDRC bracket this year. Nice. <laughs> that's going to be a tight one. Yeah. Salty and Lurch going at it. A couple yeah. of newcomers. Series champion. Each one of them won their bracket last year. And now they're paired up against each other. That's yeah, one of them's good. not winning. Nope. What's up, Jay team? Thanks for joining in. Monster Truck Daily, one of the last uh, entrants into the contest here, just in the last couple of days. That's good to see. <clears throat> yeah, I'm excited to see a lot of the. the uh, Call them newcomers, right? Half of them have more followers than I do, and have been, out, been around <laughs> longer. But new, <laughs> newcomers to the event, I'm excited to see some of the rigs and some of the 
setups that they have that I'm, I might not have seen. I've, because I've only been around on here for a little over a year now. So some of some of the folks I think I think of as different trucks than specifically monster trucks. So I'm excited to see it, you know. Yeah, absolutely. We just uh just pulled Rob RC's name out of the hat there. He's he's probably one of the longest followers I've I've been following, one of the longest guys I've been following on here. Um yeah, and we call them new guys. But, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like we, we we say the term new guys like you say, but it's new to this contest, and it's only the second year, so almost everybody's new. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. maybe we're but a lot a of dramatic with the new guys. <laughs> <laughs> but a, a lot of guys, um, and it's great to see that the guys that are signing up for this, you go back through their page, and uh, you don't see a lot of monster truck or RC monster truck content. Mm -hmm. Um. Like we say, not many followers, or like you go to Monster Truck Daily, he's got a ton of followers, but he posts real Monster Truck content. Um, so it's it's cool to see the variety of, of pages. Um, we'll pull his name here in a second, probably, but Douglas, yes, um, I yes. think he's a professional photographer, mm -hmm. and uh, so he doesn't post any RC Monster Truck stuff, but yet he held his own last year. Yeah. So hey, awesome to see got better every round he was one of the one of the ones that you could see on the score sheet got better every single round. took took notes on his own runs yeah kind of my favorite part not to pump up our scoring here but you, you literally can see what you're missing if if lurch beat you last round you can see he out jumped you he out flipped you you know yeah Brad, ring. Ring, Fab, we pull your name for the nsdrc bracket you just said you needed some more servos <laughs> Man, best way man. to do that, I think, is to win your comp, win your, yep. win your think, bracket. I think he's a man on a mission this season. <laughs> he was saying uh, he, he's one of the ones I've seen uh, posting up practice videos, and you know his trucks are built to beat all ours, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's got a problem with the chassis or the axles. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's not going to be something he's breaking. No. Uh, those axles look great, man. I'm jealous that you got them. <laughs> <clears throat> if I can ever get some rod ends shipped up this to this country, I'll get them mounted on the chassis. <laughs> Six week Aut delivery. <laughs> yeah, autism RC dad. Now, if you watch any of last year's competition videos, you you immediately recognize the little dog that ran behind him every round. And I hope it's back again. The yeah. Star of the comp. I was rooting for that dog more than any of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think the last month the dog wasn't in it, and that was the first thing I, I could care. Sorry, I didn't care about your round that that round. I was just disappointed. The first comment I could say was, <laughs> "Where's the dog?" <laughs> I'll watch your video later. Is the dog in it at the end? You're breaking my heart here. <laughs> I think it helps keep up some momentum. You just got to stay away from it, and yeah, I mean his pace was great. The dog, I mean. <laughs> oh, autism dad was okay. The dog, unbelievable pace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's Car Carson, my son. Is he, uh, oh, he's in my uh, bracket too. Oh, great. Oh, that's going to be, it's going to make for some long, long nights. <laughs> it's going to be real hard for you to let your kid drive for you and say it was you this season. That's right. We, we, yeah. we know every good run you have is actually Carson. <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there now early in the season. <laughs> Poor Chad rigged this, and this was the only thing he rigged was he wanted to line up against Carson. <laughs> That's right, yeah. I don't because he actually beat me last year, I think. <laughs> I think he might have. Loser does chores, calling it now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> or, or has to weld me one of those fancy uh, fun boxes you were putting together yeah we'll see how that works when i get her to get get her finished but mm. <clears throat> jto mtrc literally snuck in last minute today uh, nice. um had some other cancellations and decided to to hop yeah. on board with us so nice to have him back he was there last year too yep has some nice looking rigs too but yeah that uh, body's cool he's uh Said he's got himself an LMT basher this year to not as nice to uh, destroy his race, race rigs, trucks. which are yeah. top quality. Yeah, I know he has a couple sure. like carbon fiber rigs that I definitely wouldn't be uh, bashing on for four months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
All right, we're down to 13 left. MTR sees it because he's gotten used to his kid beating him. <laughs> Jason said he won't put bad like real life things to do. That's not pussing out, but <laughs> maybe a little bit. If it was on pavement, then I would have definitely said you pussed out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if you know. If you know, uh, you know. N NYC, LMP, Platano's right-hand man there. Yeah, he's been he was, practicing he was harder than anybody. Yeah. yeah, those two, those two get so much wheel time, man. Just seeing them from the first time they came to my course to get like trying every week, man. They're they're ready. They're gonna be a force. Yeah, that makes a big big difference to get some seat time in these trucks mm -hmm. and get to know what they do. And they they got themselves a new course every weekend, and you can tell it's really paying, paying off. Yeah. I'll tell you, they put in a lot of work into planning it out. All week long, I'm getting text messages from the two of them on track setup. <laughs> hey, talk about somebody who doesn't post any RC content on Instagram. Yeah. Street Hooker Trash. It looks like he's been out drifting yeah. the last weekend. In India. And, uh, looked like it said Indy Drift. Is that where he was? Yeah. Yep. When you first said he joined, I thought you were just giving me another nickname. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can call uh, you that if you want. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing you guys have called me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see Savage Customs down there. They're all going on about his Waluigi truck. I don't know if you saw that one, but that was, that was a pretty cool look. I don't think I've seen that one yet. Yeah, I've been... you have to check it out. I uh, I just I just purchased a couple uh, bodies from him this afternoon. Um, he's had some Proline Guardian bodies out of the graveyard. Nice. Must have been. I've been I was searching for those <laughs> a couple of years ago. Yet. Nice. Yeah, it's a drawing for now. It's just a drawing. That's yeah. yeah. Spirit, Tyler. <laughs> Somebody will love the. Everything. Everything Tyler starts off as a as a plan. Oh, it was almost Bobby, but it ends up being uh, MTRC's son. Yeah. He didn't now in the same bracket, too. We don't have, like, he, two father-son matchups, do we? We sure do. Oh, man, I was hoping for that. <laughs> he just said in the comments how he's used to losing to his son. Now I can rag on both of you. Mine's only no, seven, no. so I got at least one more year before he's beating me and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, and then... SDRC bracket, uh, him and his son are there, and and me and Carson are in the other one. So, it's uh, it's gonna make for some extra wrenching time. Something tells me. So, father son bonding time. <laughs> you gotta fix what you break. Okay, you guys are gonna need a lot of servos. <laughs> <laughs> I got re I got rebuild kits on the wall, but you don't need them for NSDRC mm -hmm. stuff. That's true. I hope you got patience up on that wall too. <laughs> <laughs> fresh out of that you think it takes a while to get things shipped to canada where do you try to get some patience up there <laughs> rc hey, enthusiast. enthusiast that's a, yeah. He's that's a nice posts, looking he posts lmt footage every now and then but i he posts so much so many cool trucks that i'm excited to, to, to see what he puts out there as far as the setup and everything yeah he's got that new LMT with the Megalodon body on it. It looks really sharp. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I haven't seen too much LMT stuff from him, but he's no no uh, stranger to RC of all kinds. So yep. he's uh he's also got a really nice looking backyard with some nice green grass that I don't think mm -hmm. is real. <laughs> <laughs> You're just jealous. I'm you? just jealous. Chad, yeah. Yeah. For, for you guys out there who don't know, Chad's stuck in Arctic Wonderland where everything's still white all the time. So anything yeah, green that shows up on footage, he's instantly mad yeah. about. He's it's it's all Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, live in, you live in California, I don't believe you. <laughs> it's got to snow there. <laughs> My grass all, all died this year, says Colorado. I think you might be the only one that's got more snow than me, Colorado. <laughs> yeah. Out in Colorado, they're like 70 one day, and then blizzard, yeah. and then 75 yeah. minutes later. All right, there's Douglas. And Douglas, there. yeah. Another one of the ones that got better each and every round. Yeah, 
Yeah, nice to have him back again for sure. Eight left. You are one of them, Ryan. We're getting there, yeah. I, last but not least. I hope I'm last. <laughs> Looks like it's going to land on Isaac. Isaac is one I want to see. Again, not one that posts very much, but definitely not a rookie by any means. He's been competing in the uh, Trigger King series, and I know he's also got some brass ring parts under his rig and uh, won in the first freestyle out this year at Trigger King. So, we, yeah. yeah. Interesting competitors we got this year. I'm excited. I, I, every year, I just hope it keeps getting stacked with more and more. Uh, we should call them new guys, but new guys to the comp, you know. Yeah, no, it's always nice to see people who haven't done it before join in. So, And even guys that aren't in it right now are still messaging me randomly asking about, are you going to do it next year? And is there anything for people that can't do it for four months? You know? Brass Ring says he won without sway bars. Well, that's good because I, I never run sway bars. So. <laughs> uh, I run them. They're usually dangling down below the, <laughs> below the axle. <laughs> John. John, uh, JRW, John there, RC Motorsports. He's uh, partnered up with Andy Randino at 229. So let's see. Uh, he's not in the same bracket as as him yet because Andy yeah. hasn't been drawn yet. But well, Isaac, here goes the trash talking between Isaac and uh, Mike Press Ring. <laughs> this is what I'm looking forward to. I want to see some like Macho Man versus Hulk Hogan trash talking going on. But yeah. I didn't. I didn't even see. Were they in the same bracket? Well, uh, I don't know. We'll have to take a look. We'll take a look at the brackets up close here in a second once we get them all picked. But Colorado Mini Jam must be hanging on his seat. He was one of the first ones excited. <laughs> saying he was excited. There he, he is. Picked it. Oh, there it is. Speaking of the devil. Yeah, we got Colorado. So you are going into the Vidavon Racing with myself and a handful of others. You were just too late to win all that cold, cold hard cash we were giving away at the beginning, but you got <laughs> drafted at least. <laughs> yeah, it was like a Mr. Beast video. You could take ten grand and walk away, or you could stay and compete. <laughs> yep, yep. Sorry, guys, I'd be out. <laughs> I'd have a... <laughs> I'd have 10 LMTs and you'd never see me again in a comp unless you were doing it again. <laughs> oh, oh, well, Mike says this view can't be contained by one any one federation. <laughs> oh, Tano, the birthday the boy. There he is. I can, I can smell Mike's machismo like Razor Ramon working up. He might he might take my spot as the Razor Ramon of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I think this uh, NSDRC bracket is secretly stacking up to be something I want to keep an eye on. Yeah, uh, Platano's in there. <laughs> yeah. We're down. We're down to uh, four. Ryan, yourself, Andy, Line Drive, and Bobby D sixty five left to be split out. Interesting. <laughs> You mess with the buff, you get the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby D. The comments are what I'm here for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was a co-host. Now I'm just here to read the comments and laugh. <laughs> yeah, look, that's a good comment. Said, N NSDRC brackets, ridiculous. Wow, that's good. That's and, yeah, and good so show. by the way, that there is Brass Ring and Isaac in the NSDRC bracket. No, so that's, that's where the... That's where that goes. It's wow. like a teammates battling against each other. This is so, sweet. Um, Bobby D, I believe, is uh, one of the Florida boys down there with um, Chunley, Chun Chunley, and and uh, Cody with the Adrenaline Rush and yep. all those guys down there. Mm -hmm. If Ryan pulls up last, it's rigged, says Jason. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you got one in three odds, so. If you'd have said that at the beginning. I know. If you said that at the beginning, I might have offered to do the whole comp on pavement. You, well, here you go. This is, Here's your name. I was oh, going to say the last guy's name nice. gets drawn. Let's, uh, so what, what bracket does that put you in? Yeah. Oh, look at you. You're with me in the Vitavon racing. Oh, man. So you got to hear it from me and Carson all season. Ah, I might as well just drop <laughs> out now. We were in the same bracket last season. It was me and you. 
plotting against Lurch. Yeah. How bad he was going to beat us every month. <laughs> At least I stay away from him anyway. <laughs> yeah. And all of them are pairing up again really well. Every yeah. time you said you broke it out, it worked out well. Maybe I'll finally get – I'm in the Vitavon bracket, right? Yeah. Maybe I'll finally get some axles other than these plastic ones. <laughs> So the, this we're last, talking about this. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, this this last spin will determine two places, obviously. Yep. First one will go into the NSDRC group. <clears throat> and that will be looking like Blind Drive RC. Yep. The master of pipes. And I just checked out his record. edit his edit video just before hopping on here. Yeah, and I think thing? he needs a he needs a job with working with us doing some edits for our channel. Yeah, yeah well, it did like the comic effect on the truck. Yeah. That one. Yeah, that was really cool. Yep. So that Works means... The best. Anyone's game for sure this year. So so that leaves Andy Randino, 229. Um, <laughs> our last, last chance qualifier just got... Our last chance it. qualifier last year. <laughs> the last pick. Um, wow. And I, I think I'll honestly give him the choice because we're he's one extra. We could put him in black market because that's where chronologically he'd fit, um, or we could let him choose whatever bracket he wants to go into. But uh, I'll put him in. I'll put him in the black market group. I and except it's been the wheel. <laughs> I see, I see. Yeah, last chance qualifiers. So guys that. Didn't or newer to the comp last chance qualifier something that we did um, the last round of last year. Um, well, we released it the last round of last year, and for anyone that wasn't already qualified, right? So whoever wasn't top three out of those, whoever had the highest score got an entry into the world finals, and that ended up being um, two two nine motorsports. Andy um, last year he was under Randino. Um, and he ended up being the Lucy last chance qualifier, and that's why we're geeking out that he was last pick now. <laughs> yeah, so uh, um, that it can it be from it can be from any of the four rounds. So if you lay down a monster run first round, and then drop off the rest of the season, if that run is higher than anybody else's, it didn't qualify. So the t top three guys. Um, in points will qualify automatically for the world finals. If you finish last in that round, but had the highest single round score, then you'll move on to the finals as well. Yep. So we'll uh, we'll see what that looks like as we get further on into the season, because uh, we'll be able to pick that out as it goes, but it'll always change too. Um, I know some guys kind of snuck into the top three in the last round mm -hmm. last year. And then, uh, so that kind of eliminated them from being a last chance qualifier, but opened up room for other people. So, yeah. um, let's take a closer look here at the black market RC division. We got Chunlei RC, Notorious J, ZWS Hobbies, Thunderdome RC, Monster Jam RC, Monster Truck Daily, Autism RC Dad, NYC LMT, RC Enthusiast, John Arwald. Bobby D sixty five and Randino, I call him still two two nine. So again, we got John and Andy in the same bracket, um, who run in the same track and film each other's runs. Yeah, yeah. That's so there's, cool. there's a little bit of a pattern that's going on here. Is this so artificial intelligence and he's <laughs> smarter than we are? Yeah, we should have had <laughs> AI do this bracket breakup for us. Yeah, well, we are AI guy. We had to explain what AI was. So <laughs> that didn't work out. <laughs> hey, yeah, we, we asked one of our buddies, "Can can AI do this for us?" He's like, "Well, what is that?" <laughs> so, never mind. I guess it can. Yeah. yeah here, never mind. <laughs> I'm not even <laughs> smart enough to explain what it does. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right so uh, a bit of on bracket. Right? Bit of on. So we got size matters. Uh, new to our competition. Uh, myself, Monster Wars RC, Mario, Vehicle Cities, Cody with Adrenaline Rush. Those two are probably battling in the comments if I had to go look back. Uh, Rob, <laughs> yeah, Rob, yeah, Rob RC, uh, uh, Carson, Dubs, 
Street Hooker Trash, Douglas, Colorado Mini Jam, and yourself. Um, so, That'd be a good bracket. yeah, I I don't know. We got yourself, Carson, myself, um, the three man. authors of dog. RC. Yeah. Um, did he make the finals last year? He did. He might have. Yeah. I was gonna say there's there's more people in the fi- that were in the finals last year than can be allowed in the finals out of that bracket yeah. this year. <laughs> so, somebody's not making the finals who did last year. It'll be me. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm due to break something other than the sway bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just concede to Carson. It's fine. I didn't want to just say that again and just relentlessly keep picking on you, but I figured you'd say it anyway. <laughs> and then the, the NSPRC. Yeah. So we got Salty, who made it last year. Oz Monster, who would have honestly made it if he was able to continue on uh, in the season. Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, wasn't unable to, to finish everything. Uh, Midnight RC, uh, MTRC, on, and his son down there as well. Lurch, Brass Ring, Jason, uh, Isaac, Platano, and Line Drive. Man. My goodness. I saw it in the Who comments. Is... Isaac called it the Snake Pit. Oh, well. man. I, I think I want to rename it that because. Yeah, I know. It is spot on. <laughs> Somebody's going to lose a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, only group, the only group that I know of that uh, isn't together is Platano and NYC. But. Uh, yeah. uh, this one is going to be hard to pick pick a winner and see how it shakes out, but it is going to be... The wheel did it again. It looked <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Man, so I don't, know, I don't know about the rest of you guys out there, but I'm pretty stoked about this season already. I'm ready to get out there and start filming. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I guess for anyone who's wondering and didn't see the messages um, or just tuning in randomly... The season will kick off May 1st, um, and w- technically you could be practicing now if you wanted to, but there's one little catch. Uh, the videos have to have a specific number shown in them, um, and then you'll get a new number after each round. So most people just put it on a piece of paper and hold it up in front of the camera. Good enough. Um, either at the beginning or end of the run, some people paint it on their ramps or whatever. Um, whatever you feel is the best, but that just ensures that it's a new video that month um, and people can't use old footage um, and stuff like, like that. So right around on May 1st, day before or so, uh, we'll issue out your numbers and then you're good to go. And then they have to be in by a certain date. And because we extended each round a little bit from last year, there probably won't be any extensions on those because then that pushes the next bracket, short next round shorter. Um or it ends up pushing the whole series out a little bit too long. So yeah. I think we got five. Think after last year, we decided to kind of sp- spread it out a little bit more, give guys time to kind of recover, I guess. Yeah, you I think there's at ha- least... Life happens in at, the summertime. I think we got at least four weekends per round, um, maybe five in some of the bigger months. But we tried to give you at least four to five weeks in between each round to get your stuff filmed. Um, um I know a lot of people try to leave it to last minute. Life gets busy and stuff, but that, that doesn't always lead to uh, to the best quality of runs. So time time management will be huge for you. Um, it, I know sometimes you only get one of those four weekends to, to go out and play. So <clears throat> Mario wants to see the brackets again. Sure, we can do that one more time. Yeah, I, I also saw in the comments, uh, Mike, at Brass Ring asked for the rules. I think maybe what we could do so we have like a reference point to go back. Um, we could just make a post um, with all the rules broken out in it. So this way everybody can, rather than having to listen to us for 45 minutes to get the rules, um, we could just tag everybody that's in the comp in the post with the rules. So this way everybody, everybody's got it. And, and yeah, and M- MTC. Yes, you can have it from a center hung scoreboard. Or <laughs> if you have, if you have any of them Martian girls that can walk like a boxing ring, uh, chick with it on there, that's welcomed as well. As long as they're to scale, of and, course. And green. <laughs> and green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
if anyone's going to uh, find a way to do it in the most authentic way possible, it's going to be him. Which uh, there is last year. Um, if we touch touch on, on rules a little bit, this year we tried to focus on scalism and realism a little bit more. Um, it's going to weigh in as a as a scored component. Um, last year it turned into kind of being a, a flip fest. We called it, which mm-hmm. within the within the rules, 100%, just the way it turned out. Um, so we're going to limit the scoring on the flips and try to score heavily or heavier, sorry, on scale realism. So that uh, hopefully will negate that a little bit, but definitely flips are going to be part of it. Um, but we want to make like sky wheelies and, and realistic saves and, you know, moonwalks really. and stuff. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it adds a level of difficulty to it, right? Like, not saying it's easy to send it, right? But it's hard to send it while, you know, focusing on that realism at the same time, you know? So I I, I like it. I think it's a, a good move we kind of decided yeah. to do with it. And, it, it's, and if it fails and doesn't work, then we're not uh... – it's not set in stone by any means. We're open to yeah, tell to changing us. some things. <laughs> it yeah. sucks. Change it. We listen. We try our best. <laughs> exactly. Listen. That's why we changed it in the first place because yep. people were talking. But uh, uh, Mario, if you're still kicking around there, um, the Black Market RC Group has Chunle RC, Notorious J, ZWS, Thunderdome RC, Monster Jam RC, Monster Truck Daily, Autism RC Dad, NYCL. LMT, RC Enthusiast, JRW, Bobby D, and 229. Um, we'll run through the bit of on bracket here. It uh, has Size Matters RC, myself, Monster Wars RC, uh, Mario, you're in that one, Adrenaline Rush, Rob's RC World, uh, Carson, Street Hooker Trash, Douglas, Colorado Mini Jam and Ryan B. And my, my favorite bracket, NSDRC, Salty. Hey, hey, the Snake Pit. The Snake Pit, <laughs> Salty. Oz Monster, Midnight Monsters, MTRC Racing, Lurch RC, Brass Ring, Fab, JTO, Jason, uh, MTRC Sun, apologize if I forget his name, uh, Isaac. Platano and Line Drive. So, we'll uh, I'll take some screenshots of these tomorrow, and and we'll get them posted up for everybody to see. And uh, we'll be referring back to these names and everything, and as the series and season goes on. Alex. But, uh, this is uh, Alex. MTC Alex. Sons, Alex. Yep. <laughs> good to know. Good to know. Yeah, and then we can pin them. Uh, Colorado mentioned it. We can pin the brackets and the rules um, up towards the top of the page. So this way, everybody's yep. kind of got them right there to look at. Yeah, absolutely. you can always ask. But mm-hmm. this way, they're they're right there. Um, the scoring, um, we can maybe we'll put up that like sample score sheet that we have or something like it, um, just so you guys get an idea of what it looks like. We try to make it pretty. Uh, I always explain it like Tony Hawk. Right, I might, might have one here, just one place. second. Okay, yeah. But so we do it where it's a score sheet and you can almost realistically score it yourself, right? If you hit five jumps and five flips, you can figure out what that's worth and add it up. And as the season progresses, you can you can see where you're getting better, where you're getting worse. Um, so we, we'll put something like that up at the top of the page just so you can kind of see what you're striving for. I guess at this point, but, but it's a helpful tool. I feel like some of the guys in the, the league last year or in the comp last year, um, or, I personally learned a lot about my driving from it, right? The first round I was like, wow, I, I need, I just need to make more hits per 60 seconds, right? There you go. Speaking of per hits, hits per 60 seconds, the man who's mastered it, Lurch, one yeah. So, <laughs> so if we break down break down the uh, scorecard, it's going to look just like this this year again. Um, so the first line, you got your driver. So for each second that you compete, uh, you have your run is 60 seconds max. We're only going to score the first 60 seconds. 
Um, if you end short, like I did, um, 56 seconds, you get 56 points. Fill in the clock is a huge portion of your time. So remember that. Uh, try to fill time. Each jump um, you hit, that is one point each for those. So more jumps doesn't always work out to more points. Um, it is only one point per hit. So as long as the jumps you do do um, are quality hits. You see Zach has 14 in, instead of the 16 below him, but he had um, more tricks, so to say. Yeah. So the skill hits, um, which will break out when the post, but are things like sky wheelies. Um, uh, big air. air um, yeah, big, slap, yeah, that's right. Big wheelies. air, slap wheelies. Yep. Um, two wheels, like not, not a long drawn out bicycle. That's more of a wow factor. Um, but you put it up on two wheels and it kind of falls back down, that kind of thing. Um, and then the wow factors are um, backflips, um, controlled moonwalks and stoppies and, um, and any roll rollovers that come back onto their wheels, um, saves, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. the, the rollover has to have come back naturally so you can't rock the truck back up onto its wheels. Um, because we have a no rollover rule, so once it's rolled over, you can't help it back onto its wheels. Yeah, I think that was probably the biggest question we had last year was, is this, I always call them hack saves as a joke, but when you rock it back and forth, right, if you didn't want to get up and you tried to throttle forward and reverse and get it to flip itself over, that we don't want that. We want something kind of scale looking, right? Like if I think Salty last season literally was sending me Tom Tom Mentz clips and saying, hey, I did this. Is this good? It looks like this one. That's exactly what we – if you can do that every time, send me a video, send us a video of a real one, that's kind of what we're looking for. As yeah. opposed to – you're not going to see a Monster Jam driver dramming it forward and reverse until he flips it, you know. That's that right. That, and, that like, we, a tech we spend – <laughs> We spend a lot of time looking over them if, if there's a questionable call and like listening to the audio to see if there's like throttle input used, right? Like mm -hmm. with momentum and we try to give you the benefit of the doubt as much as possible and, and we'll let you know, like we're not just going to um, dock you the points and and call at the end of it. We'll let you know or maybe you got a run that doesn't have something like that in mm -hmm. it. But, but anyway, so the skill points, uh, each one is three points each. So that number times three. And then the wow factors, are these are times five. So they're obviously worth more. Um, back flips last year, or any flip, front or back, um, was in a wow factor. Now this year, the first two flips will be in the wow factor five points. Your third flip will be a skill hit. And then if you want to do more than three flips, you only get the points for the jump, not the flip. <clears throat> so that's a, a way to try and limit the flips. So they're probably going to be at least seeing three flips around, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, but the key to those is, is probably um, the combos you pull after them. So if if your fourth flip of the day is a single point, but then you pull a really long moonwalk out of it, well, the moonwalk is probably going to be a wow factor, right? So um, yeah. still yeah. probably important if you can combo them up with other moves. But, uh, and then the judge score was, uh, these are just counted off of your actual tricks. Um, the judge score last year was, uh, um, an opinion based score from a random judge. This year, this judge score will be a, still opinion based, but on realism and scaleness of your, your setup, your driving, your tricks. Um, and we're working on having this same judge for the entire contest this year so um, last year and we'll we had some system. yeah some celebrity judges which was great we appreciate all of them um but we did find that everyone had a little bit different way of scoring it um so we want to try and keep it even if you don't agree with the way the person scores it it should be consistent all four rounds so uh, okay. after the first round you can make adjustments yeah. And that will be a max yeah. maximum of fifty again. So that, that uh, that's so you can kind of total your score before 
you have a pretty good feel of where you're at before it even gets to the judge, right? Like you, I remember submitting. I don't think I ever counted mine out fully before I submitted them until after I did it. But I would at least count hits, right? So I that, knew that's what I did if, too. Yeah. If I have two sixty-second videos and one has twenty-five hits and the other one has twenty, I already know which one's probably better. Then I'm just kind of going back and. I don't know, maybe the 20 hits were all crazy, then maybe it's worth it, but you can figure that out beforehand. Uh, yeah, that's, that's right. Part and, of what I liked about, you know. and this is the world finals one, but we have one of these for each round, for each bracket. Um, so if at the be end of the first round you have a 56 second run, seven jumps, and two skills, and you're at the bottom of the bracket, well, it's not hard to see that you need to be upwhere in the 15 to 20 hits, right? Mm -hmm. Um and and fill that 60 seconds so it was this way it's been created to try and show you where to improve um so it, it, it did, that did route, do that last rivalry. year 100 percent. definitely pit, pit yeah. a little bit of a rivalry too right seeing the guys that were i think it was the nsdrc bracket last year there was in any given month probably five guys that were in the hunt to be in the top three outside of that top three that were all like a point away i think like um vehicle city a few others were all right there they were a matter of like a few points from each other so every month was interesting you know yeah so yeah, uh, just city, answer I just... Trucks, or, or in your case bodies sorry go ahead <laughs> yeah so um isaac had a question there if you can use the same truck you don't have to use the same truck um you just one truck per person, right? Mm -hmm. So um, if you change it up each round or you break halfway through the first round and you want to switch to something else, doesn't matter. Um, as long as we get the video in, you're good. Um, and those points, where did that one go? So when you see the points on the right-hand side over here, um, this is only for that round. Um, so what I mean by that is when you get into the actual round scores, it's based out of a 10 through 1 system. So the guy who got first place uh, will get 10 points, second place gets 9, and so on and so forth. Um, so that it's not such a big spread if the first guy gets 200 points and everybody else is at 90. Um, then at least you're only one point behind, right? So that allowed people to still be in the hunt come the final round. Um, if you laid down a good pass and and got first or whatever and so it, it seemed to really work out to keep the points close like mm -hmm. we all feel that lurch ran away with it but he was still only like four or five points ahead right so not a huge difference but <laughs> yeah definitely kept it competitive yeah absolutely but so yeah. but like i say yeah. if any any questions or anything hit us up Ryan, myself, on our personal pages or this uh, RCMT page. Um, more than welcome to help anybody. But uh, I think we're about to run out of time here. Yeah, we should get the boot in about two minutes. So I guess we'll, yeah. we'll jump off beforehand. But I'm excited. I'm ready to get to work. I, I haven't been wrenching as much as I was, but this just kind of got me the itch. I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> You've oh, been man, wrenching. Just... I've been the slacker. Yeah, I've been... <laughs> been trying to build when the parts arrive, but uh, it's it's tough. But uh, just you also can't playing. go out and break them, so you you have to wrench at this point. Otherwise, it's yeah, that's, no that helps for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, just a, a thanks to some of the sponsors before we leave: A Main Hobbies, mm -hmm. J Concepts, um, Black Market RC, NSDRC, Vitavon, uh, CCXRC, uh, Avengers Race coming back on full boogie tilt um i don't have time to mention james at toronto leisure rc but we'll save that for a, a special episode yeah we got um, to announce that yeah but he is part of it again we just were brainstorming on how we can participate so mm -hmm. um, it's going to be very cool so we appreciate all you guys for uh, signing up and hanging out with us we got ourselves some yep. brackets so now let's uh let's go tear them up yep. Yep, it's racing season, or I guess freestyle season. <laughs> freestyle but, season, yep. Yep, well, let's go. All right, All guys. Everybody. Have a good one. In. See you.